Alignment is one of the most fundamental aspects of creating professional-looking GUIs. Previously, we got a glimpse of the IDE's alignment features while adding the JLabel and JText field components to our contact editor UI form. Next, we'll take a more in-depth look at the GUI Builder's alignment features as we work with the various other components we need for our application. Every time you add a component to a form, the GUI Builder effectively aligns them, as evidenced by the alignment guidelines that appear. It is sometimes necessary, however, to specify different relationships between groups of components. Earlier we added four J labels that we need for our contact editor GUI, but we didn't align them. Now we'll align the two columns of J labels so that the right edges line up. To align components, hold down the control key and click to select the first name and title J labels on the left side of the form. Click the Align Right in Column button in the toolbar. Repeat steps 1 and 2 for the last name and nickname J labels. The J labels' positions shift such that the right edges of their display text are aligned. The anchoring relationships are updated, indicating that the components have been grouped. Before we are finished with the J text fields we added earlier, we need to make sure that the two J text fields we inserted between the J labels are set to resize correctly. Unlike the two J text fields that we stretched to the right edge of our form, inserted components' resizability behavior is not automatically set. To set component resizability behavior, control click the two inserted J text field components to select them in the GUI builder. With both J text fields selected, right click either one of them and choose Auto Resizing Horizontal from the pop up menu. The JText fields are set to resize horizontally at runtime. The alignment guidelines and anchoring indicators are updated, providing visual feedback of the component relationships. Now we need to add another JLabel describing the JCombo box that will enable users to select the format of the information our contact editor application will display. To align a JLabel to a component group, in the palette window, select the label component from the Swing Controls category. Move the cursor below the first name and title J labels on the left side of the J panel. When the guideline appears, indicating that the new J labels right edge is aligned with the right edges of the component group above the two J labels, click to position the component. The J label snaps into a right aligned position with a column of J labels above. The GUI builder updates the alignment status lines, indicating the component spacing and anchoring relationships. As in the previous examples, double-click the JLabel to select its display text and then enter display format for the display name. Notice that when the JLabel snaps into position, the other components shift to accommodate the longer display text. Whenever you add or move components that include text, the IDE suggests alignments which are based on the baselines of the text in the components. When we inserted the JText field earlier, for example, its baseline was automatically aligned to the adjacent JLabels. Now we'll add the combo box that will enable users to select the format of the information that our contact editor application will display. As we add the J combo box, we'll align its baseline to that of the J labels text. Notice once again the baseline alignment guidelines that appear to assist us with the positioning. To align the baselines of components, in the palette window select the combo box component from the swing controls category. Move the cursor immediately to the right of the J label we just added. When the horizontal guideline appears, indicating that the J combo box's baseline is aligned with the baseline of the text in the J label, and the spacing between the two components is suggested with a vertical guideline, click to position the combo box. The component snaps into a position aligned with the baseline of the J label to its left. The GUI builder displays status lines indicating the component's spacing and anchoring relationships. To resize the J combo box, select the combo box in the GUI builder. Drag the resize handle on the J combo box's right edge toward the right until the alignment guidelines appear, suggesting the preferred offset between the J combo box and J panel edges. The J combo box's right edge snaps into alignment with the J panel's recommended edge margin, and the component's width is automatically set to resize with the form. Adding, aligning, and anchoring. The GUI Builder enables you to lay out your forms quickly and easily by streamlining typical workflow gestures. 
Whenever you add a component to a form, the GUI builder automatically snaps components into the preferred positions and sets the necessary chaining relationships, so you can concentrate on designing your forms rather than struggling with complicated implementation details. To add, align and edit the display text of a J-label, in the palette window select the label component from the Swing Controls category. Move the cursor over the form, immediately below the bottom J-panel's email title. When the guidelines appear, indicating that it's positioned in the top left corner of the J-panel, with a small margin at the top and left edges, click to place the J-label. Double-click the J-label to select its display text, then type email address and press Enter. The J-label snaps into the preferred position in the form, anchored to the top and left edges of the enclosing J-panel. Just as before, a corresponding node representing the component is added to the inspector window. To add a J-text field, in the palette window select the text field component from the Swing Controls category. Move the cursor immediately to the right of the email address label we just added. When the guidelines appear, indicating that the J-text field's baseline is aligned with the baseline of the text in the J-label and the margin between the two components is suggested with a vertical guideline, click to position the text field. The J-text field snaps into position on the right of the email address J-label and is chained to the J-label. Its corresponding node is also added to the inspector window. Drag the resize handle of the J-text field toward the right of the enclosing J-panel until the alignment guidelines appear, suggesting the offset between the J-text field and J-panel edges. The J-text field's right edge snaps to the alignment guideline, indicating the preferred margins. Now we need to add the J-list that will display our contact editor's entire contact list. To add and resize the J-list, in the palette window select the list component from the Swing Controls category. Move the cursor immediately below the email address J-label we added earlier. When the guidelines appear, indicating that the J-list's top and left edges are aligned with the preferred margins along the J-panel's left edge and the J-label above, click to position the J-list. Drag the J-list's right resize handle toward the right of the enclosing J-panel until the alignment guidelines appear, indicating that it is the same width as the J-text field above. The J-list snaps into the position designated by the alignment guidelines, and its corresponding node is displayed in the inspector window. Notice also that the form expands to accommodate the newly added J-list.